I cannot believe this. I cannot. No, no, no. I cannot believe this. This is un. This is can't believe this. This is can't believe this stuff. You guys, I cannot believe this. That this. That at this, I don't believe. This is that stuff that I don't believe. <clears throat> you guys, Game Freak made a fun Pokemon game. <laughs> Fun Pokemon game. For years, Pokemon has been the kid at the front of the bubbler line who will not stop drinking from the bubbler. There's like a line of 50 people behind them all getting very agitated and he just keeps going like nobody's there. Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Emerald, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black, White, Black 2, White 2, X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Ultra Moon, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, Sword, Shield, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. That is a lot of fucking Pokemon games. But if we're actually being real, that is one video game. Pokemon Arceus is the reinvention this franchise has needed for over a decade. When fans dreamed of playing a Pokemon RPG on home consoles back in the GameCube era, this is probably what they had in mind. But it doesn't open with a bang, instead you have to slog through a very talky, very tedious tutorial which goes on for way too long and teaches you nothing until eventually the game sets you free. Roaming around big open environments, battling and capturing Pokemon. This is where Pokemon really shines. Capturing Pokemon in real time is a genius level move. It's very immediate and visceral. It's kind of like a third person shooter where you snipe Pokemon from across the realm with Pokeballs. The traditional turn based battles are much faster than usual. There's no victory screen, and most battles are decided in one move. Either you kill them in one hit, or they kill you in one hit. You could probably plow through 20 fights in the time it would take you to chip down a Metapod in Pokemon Red that keeps casting Harden on itself like an asshole. Pokemon level up quick, gaining shared XP from real-time captures and battles, but I never felt comically overpowered like Pokemon Sword, where my Grookey became an untouchable god one hour into the game. In Arceus, enemies that are 10 levels below you can still deal serious damage. Now think back to my Let's Go Pikachu review. What did I say? Well, so I said that that game was terrible because it didn't have a dodge roll. This game has a dodge roll because it's Dark Souls and Zelda. Traversal is simplistic, but there's a little strand type climbing in there to give it some flavor. You can get a horsey and a climbing guy and a flying guy. If you take the gameplay elements and evaluate them in a vacuum, they're not mind blowing. It's the way that you cycle through them though so rapidly that makes this game feel alive in a way that the older titles do not. Graphically, there are games that look worse than this on the GameCube, but the true weakness here is the story. For a game with no story to tell, this game has a lot of dialogue boxes. The story here is one of the most soulless, uninspired stories I have ever seen in a video game. This is disgraceful, this is embarrassing, and it gives me a whole new perspective and appreciation for something like Final Fantasy VII Remake or even fucking Xenoblade. Uh... Even with something like Kingdom Hearts 3, at least I can make a funny video out of that, you know? Trying to make fun of Pokemon stories is like trying to make fun of a rock. There's just nothing to work with. At least put in some funny voice acting or something, man. Come on, man. Game Freak's second game is like a collaboration between two rappers, where Kendrick wrote the code for the gameplay and Jake Paul wrote the storyline. 